My name is Sophia Nomvetti and I am playing the role of Peter Quince. And I'm Daniel Rigby and I'm playing uh, Bottom, who is one of the mechanicals, the working men of Athens in the play. I was quite interested in the role because um, Peter Quince, um, if you haven't already guessed by the name, uh, 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 most of the time, or has been, uh, done quite a bit by male um, actors. So I was really interested in getting my teeth into to that and being able to maybe find what me being a female actress can pull out of the bag, so to speak, with that character. What attracted me to the role was that uh, it's a very daft role and also uh, in terms of Shakespeare's comedies, it's an, uh, as a character, it's an archetype that we still recognise and have in comedy today. The sort of um, the, the foolish actor person who's got the big gap between how they perceive themselves and how the world sees them. Yeah, rehearsal rooms uh, are really fun places, unless you're not really unlucky. Um, but they're, uh, it's normally the routine is everyone gets together, meets up, says hello, uh, has a cup of tea. But quite often, it, I mean, there are as many different types of rehearsal room as there are directors and companies, basically. It totally depends on how a director does things. He, he or she might start with games or it might start with a movement warm-up or um, before you do scenes you might sit around a table and talk about research and you know the history of the period that you're playing in and it, can, it, it varies wildly. There is a you know a theme with actors that a lot of actors don't generally learn lines until you're in the room because it can sometimes work against you in that when you're learning your lines, you're learning in a certain way, to a certain rhythm, to a certain beat, to a certain idea. And sometimes it can be quite tricky to undo that when you get in the room and find that actually what you've got in, what you're visualising in your head before you've walked into a rehearsal room is quite different from what we end up doing. But I think realistically, if you've got masses to do, it's a good idea to certainly, well, always certainly have a read of the script just so that you know you know that you're well armed with some information and maybe a few ideas what's exciting about the way that the stage is set up here is it feels so intimate and it's a it's a really lovely feeling slightly enveloped by an audience it's just uh, it's a more there, there are less places to hide which could be a downside but actually mm -hmm. it feels really exciting and supportive